Good evening and welcome to Tomorrow's World. Monty Don has been helping the police with their inquiries. The evidence is an incriminating document. Forgery is as old as handwriting itself. In fact, in the medieval papal states, it was so rife that the Pope Innocent III was driven to produce a treatise on how to detect forged documents. But the thing about handwriting is, however well you try and cover your traces, there's going to be some individual characteristic that you can't get rid of. And then came the typewriter, which seemed to be the perfect tool for anonymous letters. There was a case in 1954 of Mr. Hamilton Davis, who wrote a letter authorizing the bank to transfer 30,000 to his own account. But he hadn't taken into consideration the way that to the expert, every typewriter has idiosyncrasies as individual as a handwriting is to a person. And in due course, Mr. Hamilton Davis was caught and sent to prison for three years. And what about the present day? It does seem as though the age of the computer has made the detection of fraud very hard indeed. And with laser printers, tracing a dodgy document back to its printer seems almost impossible. But that doesn't take into account the dogged determination of people like Mark Arbon, a forensic scientist in the police labs in London, who has managed to prove conclusively that some, if not all, laser printers do in fact give away those all-important telltale signs. But, uh, where did it all begin? Well, one of the first things I had to do was find out how a laser printer works. Laser printers contain a rotating drum, which transfers toner onto the page. Any tiny defect on the drum could leave a mark, the vital clue. The first step for Mark was to lay his hands on as many laser printers as possible. Hey, you couldn't do me a favor, could you? He got a few from HQ, and then had to scrounge the rest from wherever he could. Over the next six months, he took lots of print samples from all the different printers. Then he began to look for any marks which might link an individual page back to the guilty printer. But to the naked eye, there were no obvious distinguishing marks. So he decided to take a closer look. Under the microscope, he found recurring patterns of dots of the same shape and the same size. Yes. But what really intrigued Mark was the fact that these dots appeared consistently every 94 millimeters. Mark measured the circumference of the drum and the result was the final link in the chain, 94 millimeters. With every turn of the drum, every 94 millimeters, another almost invisible dot betrays itself on the page. And now for the clinching evidence. Blown up images of the dot on the page and the corresponding printer defect. Bang to rights. An important breakthrough for the police in a growing area of crime and a result for forensic scientist Mark Arboin. Have any cases come to court yet? I, I know of two cases I'm um, involved in laser printers in this way. Uh, one is a consumer terrorism case. The other is a mortgage fraud. So there you are. All you people who thought that your laser printed documents were untraceable, you better start working on your alibis now. Well, that's all for tonight. If you want to find out more about anything on Tomorrow's World and you're hooked up by computer to the internet, we're on the BBC pages of the World Wide Web. So until the same time next week, goodbye. <laughs>